Good morning, everyone. My name is Bo Wen Li, and I'm working in the, in the internet industry in China. And I am a Shanghai original and is living in this country for more than 12, 20 years. So I was raising my hand upstairs just now. All right, today I'm going to talk about the transformation of China digital landscape. When I was a child, I liked playing hopscotch and the other outdoor activities with my little friends in my neighborhood. But now kids tend to play video games or interested games on iPad at the dining table. And how about the adult world? The long queue in front of the supermarket and the community store is diminishing. We used to buy shoes and the clothes after we try it in the department store. But nowadays, more and more people buy what they eat and what they, what they wear on the internet shop. Let me get you some ideas of how crazy Chinese shoppers are. In November 11th, 2014, that's last year, we called it Double Eleven in Chinese. Tmall, the largest B2C e-commerce platform, generated 5.7 billion RMB in one day. And let's also take a look about the other data of the largest offline shopping centers, um, which they created the yearly, yearly revenue. Beijing Xinguang Place and Shanghai Ba Bai Ban was the largest shopping center, respectively, in two cities. But now you can see the size of the bubble: 750 million, 470 million. These are very little share of the revenue created from Tmall in one day. So there are a lot of festivals now created by e-commerce leaders in China, not only Double Eleven, but also Double Twelve, Double Ten. So on every festival, the people can get cheap things on the internet and it, it becomes the online shoppers carnival. And the digital also changed the way we go. So most of you are the visitors from outside China, and maybe you find it's hard to have a cab along the road, especially in the raining day, because the most majority of the younger generation are using location-based service at home or at office. We just texting the address or just use voice talk to the application of where we are going. Then you can get a pickup very, very soon. So digital transformation has led the dramatic change on China consumer behaviors. More than 50% of the China population are accessing internet by their desktop and the mobile. And the usage of mobile phone are growing faster and faster. So, is a global website traffic monitoring tool. And from the data Alexa provided, we can perceive that about one third of the top 15 websites are coming from China. Baidu, Taobao, QQ, Sina, and Weibo. How many of you are using these websites daily? Raise your hand. Oh, there, there are quite a few. Now in China, Bat is no longer an animal, but it stands for the three largest internet giant companies. Bat B stands for Baidu, A, Alibaba, and T, Tencent Company. And I categorize these digital medias into different, into different ways. The first category is search engine. Baidu is now the largest Chinese search engine, and over 80% of the Chinese netizens are using Baidu in their daily life. So it also makes Baidu second to Google in the global market share with 16%. So just like Google, most of the revenue generated by Baidu are from online advertising. But Baidu also provides free services, like free map services, free encyclopedia and free Q&A communities. And the second category that I want to talk about is the e-commerce. Alibaba Group has two brands. One is Tmall, 
which is the largest B2C e-commerce platform I mentioned earlier. And the other one is Taobao, an online marketing place. Altogether, they have over 300 million active buyers. And this number is close to the Amazon's worldwide active buyers. And the other noticeable e-commerce player in China is JD.com. In Chinese, we call it Jingdong. Its user base are growing fast, and it's, it has very strong logistics network. There are over 30,000 30, expressmen delivering the goods every day. And if you place the order online in the morning, usually you can get your goods in the afternoon or in the evening. So in 2005, when Taobao launched its service in, in China for a year, you know what happened? It took over the China leadership in e-commerce area from eBay. So eBay's market share in China was dro dropping from 70% to 30% in one year. There are many reasons that Taobao could win over the battle. One of the primary reasons is Taobao is providing all the services to the small business and people for free. And it, it does not charge any transaction fee, and it does not charge any product listing fees. And the other reason is when 10 years back, there is lack of credit system in China, and people don't trust to do the transaction online with the strangers. So Alipay, which is bundled with Taobao together, uh, it as a third-party payment system, enable the buyers confirm their payment after they receive the goods from the sellers. Now Alipay is, become, is becoming a sophisticated payment services. Sometimes I go out, I, I don't bring my wallet with me with cash or credit card. I just bring my cell phone with Alipay installed, and it can be easily used in most of the convenience stores in Shanghai. The, the third category is social media. Facebook, MySpace, Twitter, and YouTube. These are the, the social network you might be using every day, and you just watch the funny videos from, from YouTubes but I myself didn't watch any video from it. Instead, Chinese netizens are using QZoom, which is from Tencent, Tieba from Baidu, Weibo, and Youku for our social networking, and for blogging, for tweeting, and for online video streaming. If you find something interesting on YouTube, or today our, our TED, TED Talk will be taped, Maybe for tomorrow, it will appear on Youku and the other online streaming websites instead of YouTube in China. And WeChat is the most popular instant messaging or social network tool here. Although its user base is fewer than Facebook and WhatsApp, but most of the WeChat users are heavy users. According to one survey, more than 55% of the WeChat user opened the application 10 times, and 25% opened 30 times. Show me your hand if you open WeChat 30 times a day. Wow. <laughs> okay. And this little, this little, sorry, cute penguin around the corner. Do you know what it is? QQ, yes, it's not just an icon. The QQ is installed on almost every netizen's desktop since its launch in 1999. So it is most widely used IM2 in China. QQ, together with WeChat and QZone, makes its parent company Tencent the largest social media company in China. And its market value reaches 180 billion US dollars. With the development of mobile usage and the infrastructure like 4G and Wi-Fi, more and more O2O players are coming to the market. 
There are diversified services in our lifetime. OTA, online travel agencies, and the group buying, car services, and the dining services. These are the services that we need in our daily life. And more and more large players are coming to people's, people's eyesight. Now, I have introduced a lot of digital media to you. And if you have business or want to have business in China, how these digital media could be leveraged? I will give you some general ideas or recommendations of how you can choose it. Firstly, social media is always the best tools to test your ideas and test your market at the initial stage of your business. Many China, Chinese entrepreneurs are defining their minimal viable product and just send the ideas to the small groups of friends or to the groups of same interest. If you get a good feedback or bad feedback, refine your product and then publish it into an open Weibo account or a public WeChat subs subscription account. And if you have some mar marketing budget and you want to attract attention as soon as possible in short time for your brand and product, try search engine and the online advertising tools. And if you have products on hand to sell, try the online, online marketplace like Taobao with minimal setup cost. But it is highly recommended you will have a full-time operational person to handle all the, all the orders, all the customer inquiries and the complaints. Because you know, usually a good review or a bad review will directly impact your future business. And if you are owning a restaurant or specialty services, try the existing O2O platform in China because most of the O2O platform provide a lot of incentive to the mobile users, such as cash rebate, discounts, and coupons. And I believe this O2O platform will bring you a lot of valuable customers. Of course, there is no clear cut. Choose your media's media mix according to the nature and the stage of your business. The transformation of China digital landscape have dramatically changed our life and changed the people we do business. I believe there are more and more innovations under this digital revolution and will make our life better. That's all my talk today. Thanks for listening. <laughs>